Okay, this is a reading for February 2018 for Aquarius. Happy birthday, Aquarius. Um, hope you have a great month and a great, great time. So, I'm just going to say, so this year, as always, this time of year um, is for you a time to reflect on who you are, what you're about, how you want to present yourself in the world, um, just really a chance to the beginning of your own personal new year again and um, just renewing yourself and your sense of self being really clear about who you are and also letting go of any relationships or partnerships including you know your partnership with yourself partnership ideas about how whether you're there for yourself or not anything of that nature that doesn't allow you to be the fullest uh, expression of your true self you are going to have to let go of those ideas or you know spend less time with those people or, or re-evaluate or change or transform those relationships in some way so that they do because you're going to be thinking very much about who you are what you bring to the world even how you look how you stand how you you know you might be tweaking your image you might be changing your image you might be changing the way you think about yourself the way you speak the way you stand the way you walk into a room the way you uh, are becoming you know and so anything at all that contradicts that or diminishes it you're going to be having a rethink about at this time and um, so let's have a quick look let's shuffle and let's give you a nice big birthday oh look at that awareness just popped out let's give you a nice big birthday um, reading for your month for February so I'm going to do the first second third and fourth week of February using the psychic tarot deck and then I'm going to use the Archangel Oracle deck. Choose wisely. Interesting. So you've got opportunities coming. I feel that was um, the place to... No, it doesn't feel quite right. I'm going to shuffle a bit more. What does Aquarius really need to know? There you go. Yeah, they said stop. First, second, third and fourth week. And the Archangel's... Okay, first, second, third, fourth week. Okay, so, first week, fulfillment of wishes and leadership. Fantastic. Wow. What a great thing for an Aquarius to get on the first week of their, um, of February. So, okay. The fulfillment of wishes for you, February, is definitely going to come from you taking a bigger leadership role. Taking, you know, ownership of your dreams and stepping into mastery, no pressure. Basically what it means is sounding your own horn, going out into the world and saying, this is what I've got to offer, this is what I do, this is who I am. Um, not saying anymore, can I have it? Please can I have that role? Please can you see me saying, here it is, okay? This is it, this is it, take it. And when you start to do that, there's your treasure chest there just opening up for you. And But it is about you stepping out and it looks to you as if you get off to a great start in the month because if you don't do it then, you are definitely making plans to do it. You are making some plans that are gonna change your life. And it's time, it's about time, I'm hearing somebody say in spirit. It's about time. So somebody who's, who's come to this reading has got somebody who needed them to hear that. And, um, you know, you've got Archangel Gabriel and it, the messenger of the angels uh, throw, holding the trumpet, or almost holding the trumpet, almost holding it. And I'm looking at the card and I'm thinking, hold the trumpet already, take the trumpet, blow that thing. <laughs> okay. And the message says, it's time for you to assume your leadership, power and position and lovingly guide others. So 
Leadership can mean guiding others, it can mean teaching, it can, be, it can mean standing up on a soapbox or a platform, but it can also mean just stepping into your greatness, just stepping into the role that you know is designed there for you. And, you know, it can be any role whatsoever. It can be a creative role. It doesn't necessarily mean that you, you are being a politician or a teacher or a speaker. It can be any role at all. You need to stand up and take what you know is yours and you need to get out and step out into the world with your gifts so and then you will start to see signs that actually people think you're okay and I know it's not all about what people think but in, in some careers it does help if, if your work is acknowledged and appreciated and you will you will get some very good signs of that once you make that decision to start stepping out into the world with your gift and in the second week transformation this is a wonderful spread i can't believe this spread your wings go for it and the message actually says do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you are ready to soar just look at those cards side by side this is someone who's been holding back and holding back and holding back for a very long time or they've been going forward but with different ideas and they've had this idea in the back of their mind they've wanted to do it they've wanted to do it they've and they've not been able to or they've been scared to do it they haven't trusted themselves or there's always something holding them back or they're not there for themselves they're not partnering with themselves properly like one side of you says you can do it you've got to go for it and the other side is just holding you back like a child like a scared child saying no you can't no you can't nobody's gonna like it no one's gonna accept it <clears throat> and this card is saying time to transform all of that now transform all of that spread your wings and stop messing about go forward it's time to go forward okay the timing is perfect for you to have that transformation now that is going to be life changing okay <clears throat> that's the second week <laughs> no pressure as i said so the third week you've got love begins love begins love self-love partnership love it's all there it's all possible for you when you begin to have the courage to step out into the world and fully be yourself and you've also got an archangel Azrael saying i'm with you in your time of need helping your heart to heal so for some aquarians it has been a loss at some point in life that has damaged their confidence their belief in themselves and that has stopped them from going forward because we tend to think of them as being very analytical, very much in their minds all the time, like all the air signs, very much thinkers, but they are they feel very deeply as well. And any kind of a loss can feel like a loss of a part of the self because it's very much the sign of unity and of the collective. So this is a part of yourself coming back home to you, a part of you that was lost, possibly through the loss of a loved one at some point. Um, through bereavement or through a big heartbreak or something and you're being comforted with that for that and you're being asked to re know that you are loved to return to that sense of feeling that love to direct that love towards yourself to know that you are you know you've you've always been perfect in the eyes of the angels and they know you can do it and it's time for you to begin to see yourself that way as well um very deep message for someone but very necessary and for some it will mean that there will be love for you in the third week take it on the level that you can accept it for some it will mean that you are transforming yourself in order to make way for the right kind of love and for some it will mean that a love was lost went away um, your wish is going to be fulfilled they may come back um, but you still need to focus on leadership you still need to focus on your role in life because if it's not the right connection it will interfere with what you're trying to do however it looks very good so it's possible that you will be feeling much more of that love um, towards yourself and possibly towards someone else in the third week okay so in the fourth week we have balance and clear audience so it's lovely this this card seems to come up a lot at the moment <laughs> so balance um, this is a sign that you've worked through a lot of your fears, a lot of your doubts that you are beginning to believe. And um, I've got to stop quoting the Matrix, but it's that bit where, um, you know, Neo's beginning to believe that he is the one <laughs> that he can do it. 
we're all the one ultimately and we all need to know that we are the one in our lives in in each case of what is being asked for us you are the one you can do it you can have mastery over all of these forces within you that have stopped you so far you can gain mastery over all of these facets of your life the emotional the mental the material and the creative all of that you can gain mastery over all of it and you can do what you came here to do and this is what you're going to start to get a sense of in that last week of February if you do all your homework and you put yourself out there. It only takes for you to do one small act. Do one small thing that you find really, really scary that you've been putting off for ages. You only have to do one thing. Tell yourself, I only have to do that one thing in February and it could be life-changing. But do it. Just do it. Do it. I tell you what, Aquarians, tell me under this video what one scary thing are you going to do? I've gone into coaching mode now. What one scary thing are you going to do in February that's going to move you forward in your career, in your mission, or in love, or in your dreams, whatever it is that you wish for? Um, and put it under the video, because I would love to hear. And there's the timer. We've also got, um, just to round off the month, Clear audience so you will be receiving inspirations you will be receiving guidance maybe it will be from that loved one that you lost once maybe it will just be from your not just maybe it will be from your angels and your guides and um, and those who love you in spirit but it will be something it will be encouragement it might be words that you hear you put the radio on and there's just that perfect song at the right moment or you're going past a, a shop and you hear something someone talking or um, you know whatever something that you just get the right messages at the right time to remind you that you're on the right path okay so trust the loving messages and guidance that you hear inside your mind or from other people I'm gonna pick one more card destiny Wow and you know I, I've said this in another reading it always worries me about picking a card <laughs> like that from the tarot because they can be quite brutal some of them but when my guides tell me to do it I do it and that is just perfect. That is just perfect. You are fulfilling your destiny now, whether you like it or not. It's time. This is a pivotal month. This is a game-changing month for you to start to put some step into action that is going to put you on that course to actually making it happen. No more talking about it. No more speculating. No more dreaming. No more phoning people up and saying, I should be doing this. Just do it. So I'm looking out for your messages under the video, Aquarians. And good luck and happy birthday. And have a fantastic February. And I will speak to you again at some point. Take care. If you want to book a reading with me, the link's below the video. And um, yeah, be well and be magical and wonderful. Bye.